All right, we are back, everybody. Uh, shorter break than uh, some of us thought. And hello! I'm here. It's Seabear. I'm back from my day of mystery. And I'm here to cast some TF2 with my great nerd friends. We have, in a surprising turn of events, at least for me, LG losing against Space Whale. So they're here in our third best of three of the day. It is going to be LG versus the Chess Club here on Snake Water to start out uh, this match. Loser goes home. Winner goes on to meet uh, the loser of Mixup versus Space Whales, which should be a... Joining me, a man who's pulling an all-day casting marathon, was holding it down earlier, will continue to hold it down. It is my great friend, DJC. What's up? Hey. Are uh, you okay? My voice is kind of going out because I was telling this to Seabear when he got here. Like, literally the day starts off with Stultus getting a triple kill with needles. Like, that's the tone that was set for the day. What uh, what what note did you pitch? What decibel did you reach with volume pitch? When you Tony screamed? Swan, the brown note. Oh man, you went low. That's good. I would have went high. Um, and of course, joining us, we have another newcomer to the stream today. Someone I haven't casted with, I think, since last year's land. But it is not only my favorite Canadian in the whole world, but also uh, the mad scientist of TF2. It is Sigma. Sigma, how are you doing? Not too bad. How's it going? It's going well, it's going well. Did you get a chance to watch the, uh, the first two sets? Or, like me, have you just sort of shown up, showed up, showed up? I'm closer to the side of just showing up. I, I had the stream on radio style for a little bit, and I watched like a couple rounds, but... Uh, life keeps you busy, so I can't, I can't watch a LAN all weekend, but I can definitely show up to cast a few games, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good to have you back. No, no LAN would be complete without the, uh, the docile tones of Mr. Torin. Uh, holding it down. So, um, yeah, I'm getting messages from LG uh, complaining about their performance. Um, did you get a chance to see any of that game? I guess right now we should apologize, by the way, for some of the technical difficulties. I'm sure you guys were as they were occurring. Um, there is a small issue with the Source TV, so if you guys do want to watch in Source TV, I recommend getting in here right now, because it seems like once the game starts, we're having issues um, uh, Connecting once if you try to connect before or after the game goes live, it's uh, it, it's been a problem. It's been disconnecting, and I think our streamer Lang, who's done a great job, um, experienced some of those during the Great Viaduct match, the last best of three. So if you want to avoid that, um, get on in here right now and uh, just leave it hang in here. So yeah, yeah. Um, am I incorrect? Or did you not introduce the great and lovable Bud? Is Sean Bud still with us? I didn't know. I thought what? Sigma was taking. What can be? Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Joining us. The fourth seat, the guy I forgot to acknowledge who's got a fistful of pizza in his face right now. He is one of my best friends in the whole world, not just the internet. Uh, it is Sean Bud. How are you doing? Pretty good, Bear. Thanks for the wonderful introduction. I apologize, man. I thought you were I'm gone. glad you remembered me. We uh, kind of did you order, this Sean? one together last moment here. Uh, we're like, who wants to cast? This started a lot earlier than we thought, so um, we do have about 11 nerds in the mumble here. DJ, see, I have to ask you, as the only person that has seen basically every... Well, I guess Sean Bud's been here since. Um, why don't you guys talk a little bit about, summarize what went on in the first two series uh, for me, because I missed all of it. Stone Most just of it. hit a uh, triple kill with needles, and then Chess Club just got pooped on. For like the, We didn't get to see part of Grand Reader, some technical problems, but uh, Viaduct, Brad Pure had uh, one death through like three rounds, and it was to Tag, who had like two direct rockets into his face. Other than that, he didn't die for those rounds. So that was a really bad roll. When we got into Granary, it looked about the same. With uh, RK told me that the only time Chess Club made any kind of advances were in that very final round where they recap two or something. I tried to watch a little bit of like how everyone was playing. I watched Kermit a little bit. It looked like they were, everyone was doing fine. It was hard to gauge like how everyone you know is doing really really well like overall uh, when they're just getting kind of rolled by mix up, unfortunately. Yeah, I gotta say, guys, we're going live smokes. right now, so all of our normal pregame of predictions and stuff, we're gonna have to kind of slip that in as the cast continues here, but we do have LG on the blue side, Chess Club on the red side. Um, they sprung this one on us a little early, but we are ready to go here. Losers bracket round one. Loser goes home, winner goes on, keep, stays alive, uh, faces the loser of Space Whales versus Mixup, which will be our next best of three, but we are here on Snakewater mid number one, and I'm gonna take it. 
We have Kermit, the red demo, Square Knob versus Banny. LG needs to stay alive here. Disappointing uh, last best of three, losing to the Space Whales. Let's see how they respond here. First, there comes Big Tag, trying to get into, onto Shade with a bomb. He's missed most of his rockets. He's going to get cleaned up. And on the other side, Stoltis did go down to Tyrone's bomb, so big advantage right away for LG. Looking good in this first middle here. Kermit and Weeble are out of the fight here. Kermit is going to be able to clean up a uh, sticking Dave AC, who is now uh, joining. And Shade did die during that, so I was watching Dave AC's antics while Shade died, DJC. I didn't see how he got picked up. I didn't see it either, but I did notice that that mid by LG was about a thousand times more aggressive than anything they did against the Space Whales. I don't know if that's a symptom of they figured out what they did wrong against the Space Whales, or if they're looking at Chess Club and going, well, we can oh. just dive in, and there goes Stultus, and he goes Bra down, unfortunately. Sizer just creeping in right in front of the whole team and picks Stultus. I've heard they had a, just a miserable time against Mixup, who is so good. Chess Club couldn't get anything started. To have Sizer just creep in on you and kill your medic in front of your whole team in the first round of this best of three, DJC, that's just an insult. Yeah, well, Shade is up to 70% right now. Actually running the Crits Creek here. Weeble goes in for the play, so Weeble must have spotted that out. If he didn't, a uh, little bit blind. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to see a Crits Creek come in here. we got to get the camera on to Banny, on to Grant Vincent, see what he can do. He's gotten a lot of crits today, but Shade's going to go down to Tagarung. Tag actually having a really strong land debut here. He's gotten a lot of good medic picks, made a lot of fights go the other way just by putting out some damage, but everyone is still fighting. Just gonna pick up both Scout, Sizer, and Hero dead. Tyrone actually gonna go down as well. Dave AC is going for the play. On the last though, is he alone? Is Dave AC, oh. the miracle robot with no soul, gonna cap this? Soldier comes in, gets oh. the <laughs> time, Tag around. Oh, oh my man. god, Tag is the best right now. The huge pick on Shade saves the round there. I was about to go to the nipple hairs comment. That was going to be such a close finish. I believe Dave had it though. Tag jumps out of spawn to stop it. Now we're back in middle. Weeble and his scout buddy are trying to fight back. It looks like Hero is getting pushed out of his kitchen there on the far right side. And I believe that LG is going to have to give this up. They are. Backing out to their second point, Chess Club, after looking awful, DJC, have turned it all the way around, and Banny not on the scoreboard yet for LG. Stultus does have his uber. Shade is getting really, really close here, though. He's up to 90, so Chess have to push right now if they want anything to come of this. But look at the big aggression out of Dave AC. He's actually in Sawmill with a scout. Uber has popped out here from Chess Club. They have to flash a lot before Shade even counters, but they are going to pick Sizer here and scatter reasonably well. Stultus being the bait. Maybe Chess Club can re-push off of all the focus that went to Stultus, but Banny's going to go down, or Banny's going to get a nice pipe on a Weeble. Tag dies instantly when he comes in, but that is going to be the death of Tyrone and Shade to try making a huge play. Omar is still fighting will take down Banny. Kermit's on full health and Omar actually gets another kill on a day. Woo! And two big pipes from Kermit. Wow. What, a what went fight. wrong with uh what went wrong with that counter Uber there, Sigma? LG should have had that. Yeah, it was actually uh they almost killed Shade before he even got it. He popped immediately once he had it and that just looked like a bunch of milking. But then I think the, just the big play from Omar coming in at the end there with like a couple kills made a huge difference in Chess Club now looking in a pretty comfortable position, although I mean this is Snakewater last and they don't have an advantage so they're gonna need to run some kind of play to let them get in here, but maybe this is a little bit of a reality check for LG who looked like they were just gonna turn on the Jets and end the match quickly, but uh, Chess Club's not letting them have their way here. Uh, the, the double soldier play at the end of that push, try and tag, it was beautiful to watch. They were they were in midair together, like synchronized soldiers, and they dropped a ton of damage onto that. Kermit was able to, to win the last 1v1 to get the second point. Um, we did see both snipers are up right now for respective teams. Hero, the LG sniper, versus Weeble, who was considered a top, top sniper for the chess club. And uh, he just got picked, DJC, by Sizer, who was sneaking around. Um, but he's back up, and he's trying to make something happen here with the sniper pieces. And it looks like they're going to work off of the pick, is uh, Chess Club, and try to get Weeble to uh, dome someone before pushing in. We've seen a lot of Weeble on Sniper today since they got to open up on Viaduct. We've never seen him get this aggressive <laughs> before, and we've never seen him get the shit air shot out of him by Dave AC either, but that just happened in quick succession. I was going to say he hadn't really hit much when he was on Sniper before, and he sure didn't hit anything there either. That was awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a that high of a sniper midair. That was like a skybox sniper midair for Dave AC. Um, I want to quote my friend Lang and just scream Dave AC as loud as I can, but uh, I'm going to keep the voice uh, for, for mix-up versus whales. I believe that's going to be um, a more uh, 
a vocally pleasing game. As we do have a spy play from Weeble, who's disguised right now as a friendly sniper. Did get spotted by Dave AC up on the top left for Chess Club, but he's going to sneak in here. I believe they may know DJC is. Uh, he cloaked pretty much right in front of them, and uh, but he's gotten in here. I don't know if LG's aware of the spy. Well, he did just here uncloak in plain view of like three people. <laughs> he just runs away. Classic spy play from oh. Weeble gets picked up by Dave AC. I hope the next 7 minutes and 40 seconds of this is just Weeble dying to Dave <laughs> in clever and funny ways. I was gonna say, Weeble's going for the world record of deaths in a single match. He is just mouse forwarding or uh, plus forwarding in, and uh, I think LG's seen enough of this. They're gonna try to re-push back out. Tyrone does get the Uber. He's gonna jump in and force Staltus. Pretty good Uber out of Tyrone. Now they need to get back as the counter Uber by the chess club is pushing them. Um, they're not going to be able to get much out of that Sigma, but they decided to go in and, and try to just upset the uh, two-hold. Hero fighting everybody underneath, and suddenly two are down. Chess Club has a great chance here. Uh, Omar gets cleaned up by Tyrone, might stall out this push Sigma, but uh, LG with a curious choice just to kind of poke back into second and get out. Yeah, it seems odd to do that off just one kill. I mean, when they have Uber, obviously that spawn's going to be back, and they knew it right away, so... It's kind of like LG just seems to be impatient. They're like, okay, yeah, we know you're going to fail a bunch of pushes on last year, so let's just get it over with and give us two back already, but it's not going to happen so easily. And Chess Club gets to try a few more times, but I don't know, LG seems very eager to push back out on this, so hopefully uh, after this next push we get to see a bit more action. There's a bit of a reason for that. In the previous game, LG tried a few really aggressive pushes back into two, <clears throat> but it seemed like Space Whales just wanted it to happen. I think LG are maybe looking at it like, well, this isn't the Space Whales. They can maybe just muscle them out and retake it for free, but it definitely didn't work out that way as they popped their Uber and lost two. But I think Chess Club are really hesitant to push into the sniper-heavy combo here. I mean, Space Whales couldn't do it. What is it suggest that Chess Club could? They do have a heavy of their own in the form of Wobble, also known as Omar. Uh, the known more for his multi-classing than his scout play, not to say his scout is bad, but we're going to see the tentative aggression here from Chess Club peeking through the left door. Yeah, he's going to bomb it in. He got a nice jump out of drop down. He's going to be able to force Shake. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. Spawn! Tag! I was watching him for about 10 seconds there. Jumped up, drop down, finally got an impatience from Chess Club, and now LG's in a world of hurt. No buffs, no medic. And uh, Chess Club, I guess they're going to wait for Tag to come back and push in, but a huge play by Tag, killing Shade in his spawn. They really want the scout for this push in here. They want Weeble to be there so they can get pressure on the cap, rotate off of the cap, get aggressive on whoever. It looks like Tyrone tried to go in for the play as well as Dave AC because he's down to 18. Uh, but neither can make it. Oh my oh god, my here with the headshot on Astaltus as he walks through the door. And it looks like Chess Club are committed to this. Both oh medics dropping in succession. Chad has been known to hit that shot to the saving grace shot, and I believe LG might have a chance to hold this here. They are down quite a few. Times four on the point. Try is still left. Can Tyrone place it? No! Dave AC got in time! He didn't get it in time. Try caps it for the end of a crazy last hold slash push. Chess Club gets their first round of their first LAN. What a finish there. Dave AC nibble hairs away, but Chess Club takes it, DJC. In the earlier games, Try honestly looked awful. He went like 9 and 25 in the first game. Tag went 12 and 24, but they are the impact players so far, having great games. Looks like Banning wants to get really aggressive on this midpoint. Weevil's gonna fall for it and die, but Tag is in on the medic. Two rockets out of Shade. Shade is down. Tag are having a great game so far. Try gets on the Banny. Takes him down as well, but Tyrone will manage to get Kermit out of this fight, so Chess Club don't really have the greatest of damage up right now, but Stultus with those deadly needles is out lower. Dave AC is chasing down to 26, down to 12 with the rocket jump, and then it's Stultus's <laughs> fifth needle kill of the day. Somehow, some way, he is making it happen and surviving in these situations. Can't say how impressed I am with Tag. I love Tag, so I, I might be a little homer here, but he's playing so well. Looks like Dave AC on these mids, jumping in, gets the medic, gets out, collects health packs, comes back in. Stultus with a needle kill to keep in an uber advantage. Of course, LG does win middle, but Stultus has his uber on too with his team, and of course he's aware of the 50% advantage he has, and I believe they're going to try to push in their far right saw room area, we, we like to call it. 
and it looks like he and Try are going to tr maybe commit here to mid, but they're wasting some time here at DJC. They definitely need to pop this soon and get onto Shade, and uh, they're going to pop now, so uh, not the best Uber right now. Let's see if they're able to close the distance here and get onto Shade, who is back way out, so LG does a good job. Um, they're going to give up middle, but Elite Frog is definitely incoming. Shade at 90%. He's going to think about going Kitchen, or his far left side here to counter, and it looks like he and Tyrone are on their way in, and there's the blue pop. Let's see if they get a better Uber. Sizer goes down on the flank. They're going to be down a scout during this push, but there go a couple. Tyrone onto Wobble or Omar. Uh, both teams actually three down for Chess Club, two down for LG. I believe middle is going DJC, and a nice retake by LG. Some technical leapfrogging here uh, by the blue team. And right now, Chess Club are going to have the late spawn, so LG might be able to push this in before Staltes gets his Uber up. Do you think that would be a very good play here, Sigma, to try and commit some players to get the Force out or maybe drop Staltes? I don't know, I think it, they're a bit too, it's a bit too close. Like, Chess Club should be looking to get their Uber in onto LG right now, and LG, by moving forward, lets them get a lot of damage in here, but is that Dave just jumping forward and wasting their time? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, nonetheless, two players down from LG, so this can turn into another mid-seesaw action back into Chess Club's favor. Shade backing up frantically with his Uber. He actually might get this in time to block, but with so many players down, I think Chess Club should be looking to force this Uber out or get some time on mid before the rest of LG spawns. Banny had a trap up on middle, did not get damage, enough damage done, but he's done a good job of poking them back. Tag is going to go down here as the blue Uber has popped an air shot on a Dave C trying to get into that upper saw room area. Nice shot by the red soldier, didn't see which one it was. It must have been try. Uh, must have been try because, uh, you know, the other guy was dead. There you go, Seabear, as uh, we are going to see some fighting over into the red saw room now. Try is going to get cleaned up by too many dudes. And there goes Stultus to the Tyrone bomb. Tyrone got in from the far right. Only Kermit remains on this second point. He's going to get pushed back. Killed by Sizer with a double. And second point is going to go down. Huge advantage for Shade. He's sitting at 65% and building. Uh, Omar is a heavy at last. But here comes the push. They're going to try to catch Chess Club respawning. There goes the heavy. He is down. Pressure on the point, And I think it's going to go. Try and insult is no, not enough. Dave AC with a double to clean it up, and we are sitting at one to one. A nice repush by LG, able to crumble two points in a row to take and tie this game up. Did anyone really sit there and go, okay, LG are gonna have to come back from being down around and come back from being behind Uber and come back from not having the middle point against Chess Club? I don't think they did. I mean, Chess Club looked pretty awful against Mix Up, and then LG looked very competent against Space Whales. Maybe this is the turning point. Maybe they won't ever look awful again, and they'll go in the classic LG role, but we are here at the mid-fight. Good damage is coming out from Banny, but here comes the bomb on a tag. Tag actually will go down to Tyrone. They will, they will trade with the pocket. Banny hits a nice long-range pipe to take trial of fight, but Kermit is doing great damage right now. Staltus is down, though. Hero is in deep, and Banny with heals will win the fight. It's just Weeble in right now. Getting aggressive. He has Wobble as support, but Wobble's nowhere near. I think he's caught on the underneath right now, engaging the 1v1 here. Nice juking by Omar. Oh, takes down Sizer. <laughs> Very good 1v1 there. 1v1 that turned into a 1v a lot, and uh, Omar did get Sizer. A little too much 1v whatever. Uh, if you are a chess club guy, you gotta try to work it better. That first bomb by Tag worked so well the first two mids, able to drop Shade, couldn't get him. Uh, Tag decided to focus on to Tyrone, who was killed. But uh, if you don't get Shade, he's sitting at Uber, and uh, Chess Club in danger of losing the second point right now. They might just choose to give it up. They are trying to hold up in what we like to call cheese, which is the defensive top right area where we see Try right now dumping a ton of spam onto Shade and Banny, but uh, he just can't do enough. Banny's got the, the spam advantage, and it looks like they're going to get aggressive here. Uh, Omar onto Sizer, and actually both. LG scouts are going to get picked up, and the LG Uber is popped, so a nice defensive series here, turn of events for the red guys. Let's see if they're able to stay alive. Great juking by the scout, and Weaver Wobble is in on the shade. Omar with a pick, and, and Kermit and company. Chess Club looks great on the hold here. Banny is going to get pushed by a lot of dudes. Banny is back on his health pack, and he might get out. I believe he will. Kermit is pushing a, a blue soldier into that right uh, saw room. Banny is able to drop Weeble, so uh, LG's to clean this up for now. Uh, Stultus is not building any kind of advantage, DJC. He's, I thought that he would get one. Um, he's just yeah, starting to get one right now, and I believe he's on... Uh, what? DJC killed the hell out of him uh, at the end of that fight. Right now, LG are trying to contest too, but Chess Club do have heals. They are in position to contest this. Some good spam is coming out. Sizer's pretty weak, and there are, looks like generally better health 
on the chess club right now, uh, especially with Banny getting taken out there. Nice rush by Omar. Try with the support spam as well. Tag and Wobbler down, but Weevil as well. I was going to say that two players down is well worth it for Banny, but three makes it a little bit in uh, LG's favor here. The bomb is going to come out from Dave AC. Denies that Silver Kermit is dead. Try will clean up Dave. Stalt is on 90%. Scout's actually going to rush in. Is this Scyther? Yeah, it's Scyther going for the aggressive play. He has taken up a lot of the slack that uh, losing Clockwork cost this team. He has gotten very aggressive in his playstyle. LG looks like they just want to shove it into last right now, but they know that Chess Club at Uber. I think they just want to get a force out here, Seabear. A little miscommunication between Try and Staltis was sitting at 90%. I was worried for him. He did end up getting his Uber. Um, they're trying to hold last year. There goes the blue Uber. Staltis is milking his, but there goes his team around him. Both scouts are going to go down. This Uber needs to get a lot done. They clean up Hero on the point. Dave AC has got high ground here on last. He's going to get bombed. going to go in onto Kermit. Nice play. Doubling off Banny and Dave AC. And there go three. I believe LG's got this unless Omar is the best player in the world. And uh, he's not, unfortunately. And even if he were, probably still dead and that's gonna be two to one lg as they've come back here uh went down early but have made some changes here so sigma what's your impression so far of the game it looks like lg warming up even though they uh were definitely the warmer of the two teams having just played i feel like lg was a little overconfident going into this just looking how they how fast they played the first mid and how they did that crit switch right away and now they've kind of slowed it down and brought things more back into their pace saying well okay we can't we can't completely underestimate these guys but from here I think LG is going to just keep control of it. I think they're just a bit too much better on every position for uh, Chess Club to make a lot of it. That said, Chess Club getting a few nice picks early in this mid. LG's health is not good and they're staying in on it, so that gives opportunity for the Chess Club to do a lot here with Tyrone going down. Shade's oh, still there and a huge <laughs> fight from Kermit takes out Benny and Shade there. So Chess Club actually in position, like, never mind what I was saying about LG taking it back into their control. Chess Club should roll this round. Full Uber already capping two, just waiting for forward spawns and they get to go full Uber into last. All right, we gotta go on the Chad though. cam, the hero cam, DJC. He's sitting in spawn. He hit this shot earlier today, took Stultus's Uber away. Kind of need this to happen right now. If he's guessed right, maybe he can pick him, but I think Stultus is thinking of going the other way. Nope, they are going to meet Chad here, so will the Uber be taken? Can Chad get the opening pick that LG needs right now? And Stultus is hoping that right now Chad doesn't take his baby away. Hero is scoped in. Only can see a scout with an over here right now. The Uber's actually popped on the flank. Nice rotation there from Chess Club. Try gets launched up in the air. He's just focusing on his heavy down. Kermit has denied everyone. Sizer, did he run out of ammo? I heard the click, click, click better. Omar's the only death so far. Stultus will die, so no heals for Chess Club, and they are desperately in need of them. But look at this great zoning by Try. Huge aggression on the Benny here. How is he alive for oh my God, so baby, long? Die. Oh! Oh my god, wow. Ty dumped like 11 rockets into Banny's like chest, uh, missed the last one, I don't know if he splashed him with the second, but uh, Banny does his thing, DJ, hold so on, hold he on. just stays alive. Omar Spy, Omar Spy, this is Omar's pretty much premier class, this is the thing he is the best at in 6v6, and it's, on, it's gonna be the most boring thing ever until he stabs Shade in the back in 15 seconds. Maybe he'll try to back cap instead. No, we're watching the spy cam. Sneaky spy. He's going to go goes. in on the shade here. He's definitely got a chance at it here. He's going to creep up. Banny does not turn around. Well, he takes it. He got it. Shade drops to the backstep. DJC prophesizes it correctly. There goes Uber. Can Chess Club make something happen along with it? Still quite a bit of frags going out for LG. Uh, they're going to get three, though. Will Chess Club. Kermit does go down. It is Sizer and, Ty and Tyrone versus a lot. Sizer's got two. He's trying to get in on the Stoltis. Tyrone bombing into health. It's going to get cleaned up here. I believe Stoltis is going to be okay. And uh, Sizer does actually make it out. So sneaky Sizer. But holy cow, DJC. You called it right. The backstab came in. I think when I watched the other land that Omar went to, when he went spy and he went for the medic, the only time he didn't get it is when he got TF2 and he stabbed the medic in the back and it didn't register. And I mean, Omar is fantastic at spy. The big thing you need to know on spy in 66 is you just gotta wait, man, and that's all he did. He waited till the opportunity presented itself and Shade's back was ripe for the taking. Now as we sit here, Chesco trying to push it in. They do have a full advantage. Sizer does get cleaned up early on into this push. It's going to be tough for LG to hold this. Looking at their defensive setup, they do have a sniper. So Hero's going to try to pop him, but uh, the Uber is uh, popped by the red guys. Not the best Uber. I just think Stultus didn't want to get domed, and they're going to use that Uber to take second. Shade has almost a full advantage here, but I doubt we'll see the repush. I may be wrong. I should throw it to the Prophet because he seems to know what's going to happen uh, 20 seconds in the future. Um, do you see the LG repush here or are we just going to sit back and try to regroup?
Well, the I think they're actually going to do it, because they have two scouts still. If they were going to hold, they'd go sniper heavy, but now we have their combo yeah, moving going. up. Here they go! Weevil's hiding, though. Tyrone. Weevil's underneath the ramp. That spot nobody checks. He runs into a soldier, gets meat rocketed by him, and really can't do much. Just unfortunate timing there. This does delay, and it does actually get the force out. I didn't see who got in. I think it was Omar made the force on the shade. So Staltus now has a big uber advantage sitting in middle, but Tyrone's already probing in the lower, so is Banny, and here comes Dave. Gotta get the camera on Dave, see where this double rocket jump is gonna take him. I was expecting the triple, actually, Tyrone gets annihilated, forces the uber out of Staltus, but both soldiers are dead for LG. They're trying to back out, nobody's really in range of the chess club players, so I don't think there's gonna be any more picks, but this should be a recap. Actually, it was never even capped, was it? They're gonna try to repush too. I thought that LG took mid back. No, they didn't get into mid. Um, Staltus, I gotta say, is playing uh, amazingly. I I'm really not that familiar with his play, but uh, he's done great so far, dodging everything, staying alive, getting that uber up. Got a lot of pressure from LG, but as we stand right now, we have a big fight going on here at the second point. Hero gets uh, knocked out by uh, Omar, oh, and tag wow. on a tie! That see? shot, dude. Uh, that, like, curled around a fence and hit... Uh, if it was the shot I was looking at, it curled around a fence and hit the soldiers somehow, and it was miraculous. This is a crazy fight, DJC, along the second point here. It looks like Shade is going to force the Uber here, looking over at Staltus. He's doing a great job again of getting out. He's going to have another advantage. The point is over half cap, so they're going to have a good chance here to regroup with their forward spawns and repush LG second. And what is becoming a, a pretty awesome fourth round here, as we stand, LG is winning, but they're on the back foot here. It is two to one LG in this first map of the loser's bracket, um, and the winner goes on to face either Mix Up or Space Whales, and the loser is out. So LG needs to win this to stay in the game. Here goes the push out of saw room. Pop out of Staltus. Oh, Try is in a lot of trouble, though. He's going to get picked up by Staltus. This Uber hasn't done a whole lot. They're going to have a chance here. Some damage going in onto the uh, blue dudes, but they've backed out. And now Shade has an advantage. So we've seen a lot of leapfrogging. And here we go. Huge bomb by Tyrone onto Staltus. Can he make it out? Staltus just magically avoiding damage. But LG is going to clean up some of the chess club left members remaining on the second point. It looks like Tag is trying to get that cap. I'm sorry, that's Try. Try is not able to get it. The cap never went. Great hold by LG, and now they're pressing Chess Club all the way back. Shade has Uber, and he's got his dudes running forward here. They're going to push him all the way out of middle, so some technical TF2 here, Sigma. I have Uber, you don't have Uber type of stuff, and uh, LG's very, very good at this, as we do have a pause. Yeah, LG just seems to be getting the better end of a lot of these exchanges. Like, even though uh, Chess Club had that full Uber pushing too there, they got forced kind of awkwardly by Dave, who then got away. And then uh, uh, Hero picked up a scout on the flank during it, so that just paved the way for LG soldiers to jump back in. And I think that's what I was trying to get at earlier when I was saying LG's taking it back into their control, is on all these fights, even if Chess Club has an advantage, LG's players are just so strong that they can edge their way back in and get those... Like twenty percent advantages one at a time until suddenly uh, they're rolling them back, and that's what we're seeing right now. Is we're sitting in this pause is LG rolling them back, and Chess Club probably gets their Uber to defend too. But like I, I mean, as I've been saying, LG is just they're probably going to win this Uber exchange. So Chess Club in an awkward position in this round now. No, oh, the pause was teased. It went live for about a half a second, and they paused again. I want to point out while we still are paused, DJC, that <clears throat> I did get a message from Sizer saying that uh, there is a iron bar running underneath his lap right now. I guess the the table that he's sitting in, so he's not able to put the the, the keyboard in his lap like he tends to like to do. So that's a little awkward for him. He's got the uh, keyboard on the desk like a regular nerd. Yeah, basically, okay, and yeah, I'm getting word from the streamer that the HUD is going to be a little screwed up for 90 seconds due to the pause, so um, that will be fixed in time, but for right now, next 90, we're going to be a little weird. Um, but as we stand in the game here, LG is pushing in that uber advantage. Um, I don't know if Staltus has his. I believe he does. Yes, they're going to pop it. Oh, Staltus! I praised him, and he dropped everybody on the point. That's not good. As uh, LG with a much, much better uber. Staltus is going to try to get out lower, but Bandy's waiting for him! Drops him up, or pops him up in the air, and drops him with the second and third sticky great play by Banny predicting Staltus's exit path and shutting him down and everything is crumbled here for chess club they're going to try to hold last but LG is going to get right in Shade and company are in their top left chess club trying to kite this push will they have will they have the middle wow what a play by Tag and Kermit Kermit hits the home run pipe will it be enough he's jumped up there but Sizer drops him I believe LG has this uh Staltus is up he has two scouts Sizer is able to drop one! Sizer and Hero bullying the second scout, and that is going to be it. 
half goes three to one in favor of LG in a very entertaining first half. Uh, much closer, I think, than the scoreboard shows. Three to one. Um, it's been a, a pretty pretty great game so far, DJC. Yeah, and I did get word from both RK and Memphis Vaughn. Not sure how the hell Memphis knew because RK is the one who's actually in Dallas, but uh, Shade did crash, says RK, and uh, Memphis confirmed that. Luckily, it was a crash at halftime, it seems, not actually at a point in the game where it'll matter. So that yeah. was the pause earlier. Um, yeah, man, I mean, I honestly expected LG to look much better than this. Like, compare Mixup's play uh, against Chess Club to this, and it's clear that there, that even between the number one and two teams, Mixup and LG, there is a big gap, because LG have struggled at times against this. They haven't dealt very well with the aggression. Whereas Mixup just handled everything Chess Club threw at them with the... You're teasing that Mixup might win. You're saying that they're pretty good at TF2? Is that, uh, is that um, what you're trying I'm to get I'm teasing at? for the matchup we might eventually see. But right now yeah. we are taking over another middle. I'm watching Staltitz's his rollout. Chess Club are actually going top left this time. See if they can get a little more quick aggression here. But Tag doesn't have a buff. He can't really jump, but he's going to go for it anyway. That's the Roamer way, the man way. Does absolutely nothing with it until he twirls around and shoots a rocket out of his ass that kills Hero, though. That's yeah, the true rumor way. That is a true rumor way. A full wipe. LG maybe uh, gotten their um, stuff together here. As uh, Shay did stay alive during that push, I believe that he is still in the game. I believe that timeout, like you said, happened before, so that's where the pause happened. So Shade is going to be ready to push this. LG is all over the second already. Um, they're definitely going to get this, and it looks like the aggression. They might take it all the way to last. Banny is uh, he's tickling to go in there, but it looks like he's just going to put up a Banny trap, call for his scout to cap, and uh, he's going to get ready to try to stuff any uh, two pressure that uh, Chess Club might try to put on, but Chess Club is going to hang out back in their spawn. Shade with a full advantage. They do have a heavy to defend. Will it be enough, DJC? I don't know. Banny, though, gets domed by Weeble coming in. Actually, I believe Weeble snuck up into that top left drop-down area. That's a huge pick for Weeble. Without Banny, there's not a lot of pushing. Attack! Oh, 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 my God! Shade with a beautiful double body rocket. Shade with his second drop. Huge plays by Weeble and Tag, and now advantage back to Chess Club as they're going to try to push back onto second. There was no way in hell Lang was ever going to think to catch that on stream, but Tag hit the perfect shot. He dove onto Shade on second. Shade was on top of the little stairway that leads up from the bottom, and he hit a direct rocket for probably 112 damage right onto Shade. It was beautiful. It was. It looked like a direct hit. It was right in Shade's chest, and that's a that's a big drop for Shade. Uber is being popped out here by Stultus. He's got Ty in tow. Try, I'm sorry, Tyrone is on the other team. Foo. As uh, Banny is kiting this Uber, look how confident he is. Oh, but he gets shotgun down, but it's not going to be okay. As Shade is going to say, alright, we do a pressure on last! I miss it! Weeble, no! He couldn't get it, did he? Oh, he did get Dave with the last <laughs> bullet out of his minigun. My god! I switched back just to see a heavy versus soldier fight. It's going to get cleaned up as Chess Club uh, picks up second, but LG all over it now. Um, Dave AC did the roamer thing, DJC. Got to last. Fooled me. I clicked over to see as just as the last bullet out of the minigun killed Dave in time to save the point. But uh, maybe just uh, a delay of the inevitable here as LG's ready to go in about five seconds with their Uber. Hey, I'm still in awe of that tag shot. Like, yeah, that was really good. <laughs> if Lang had caught that on stream, it would mean he was like cheating and seeing into the past somehow despite not being in Dallas. It was fantastic. We are going to see the Uber exchange come out. Wow, Tagaron. Sizer gets the first kill onto him, the hero of my heart for the moment. Weevil is also dead. The sentry is down, flooding the point on the two scouts. It looks like LG finally learned the lesson that they needed to a long time ago, Seabear. You gotta get on the point to win the game. Yep. Yep, and I can't stress how close that play was. I don't know if that got on camera either. I think it, it fooled me. Maybe it fooled Lang as well. Um, this action's been all over the place. It's tough to follow when the flanks are, are uh, producing so much stuff. But here we are, uh, four to one now. LG over Chess Club could be the last round on Snake Water uh, of the first map here for Chess Club, unless they can pull out a huge comeback. We're going to see mid fight here. Let's call it uh, number six, as we do have Red taking the early advantage here as far as soldier positioning. Dave AC and Tag are going to trade death, so no Roamer shenanigans on this middle here. Here comes uh, Tyrone trying to close in on the Stultus, able to drop Kermit with the. Uh, 
the rocket, and I'm not sure the fighting taking place back on LG side. We still do have Stultus alive. He has Weeble. He's got Needles, does Stultus, but he's going to have to get out of here. Shade did go down at the end of that play. Sorry I missed that. I believe it was uh, Weeble who snuck in with the pistol onto Shade. So Stultus stays alive, has Ty, or Try, I'm sorry, that's Tag at second, and so they're going to build an advantage. So um, another big play from a uh, chess club player onto Shade, who has not been alive nearly as much as Stultus, uh, even though they're winning. I think we will hit 12 out of 12 pistol shots to finish off Shade there too. It wasn't like Shade was low and Weeble got it and finished him off. It was Weeble went in and just big dicked it and slung every bit of damage he possibly could into Shade. The very large dicking sometimes needs to take place. Chess Club has their Uber. They're ready to go. Dave AC's in the Roamer spot. He's going to get caught out by Tag. Uh, that spot's very common. And Tag says, no, I know that spot up on the top of the pillar. But you're going to see the Uber being popped. LG does have middle, remember. And Chess Club did a pretty good job of getting in deep with this Uber. Not going to get any frags out of it, but they're definitely going to take two. We saw this in earlier rounds. The possible leapfrog action shade at about 90%. So five or so seconds away from the re-push into middle. All 12 are alive. Live, and LG is trying to just out uh, play, play technically better uh, and just leapfrog Uber is better, DJC. And it looks like they're going to try it again with the repush in right now. Yeah, Stultus does look like he's relatively safe though. And Omer is actually going straight for the back cap, but he gets cleaned up by one rocket from Tyrone and one from Dave AC. Just wanted to delay. The force is going to come out here. I think Tyrone saw an opportunity to get in deep. Jumps on a little lower, but he gets denied really well by Kermit Stickies and the rocket juggling. So we get to do the double leapfrog, Seabear. You just hopped over one frog and right back to the rear of the line. We're going to have 90% uber for Stultus. They're going to wait for Omer to spawn before they move, I would imagine, but they do want to go off of this. Tag is just sitting there up top waiting in case someone tries to jump in, namely Dave AC. With the combo is moving right now. Try as the heal beam on him. They're avoiding the sticky trap. Actually, they're going to clear it. They're just going to shove right through where Banny is looking. There are stickies up top. And Weeble goes down, but Dave AC will trade with him. Probably a better trade for LG than it is for Chess Club. But look at Sneaky Hero. He wants to go for that back half a tag. We'll spot him out on the point right now. Our Chess Club. I don't know where Hero disappeared to, but it looked like he was still behind. Actually comes in and he just gets two shot by Omar. Very well played there by Wobble. And LG are forced out lower. No Never Uber pop from Chess Club Uber, here. By the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a leapfrog situation on both sides. Do have Uber. I love that play by Chess Club. They walked through what you, like you said, where Banny was watching. But uh, they just cleared stickies, they took their time, and now they're in. Uh, both sides do have Uber, and all 12 are up. But uh, they definitely won mid. No chance of a, of a repush as of right now, as both teams are even. So um, some nice uh, technical work here. TF2 at its best, Sigma, as a chess club are ready to go. So a nice push by them. Yeah, I was going to comment on the, all those leapfrogs that were happening. Teams were getting their pops for so far back, and... The Uber never got really anything but the point for them, so that's why I kept sawing that C map. But Chess Club doing a good job, uh, not having to use the Uber. But here we have the exchange now. Pop earlier for Shade, and not much damage onto Chess Club. But Chess Club actually looking really good under this exchange here, with the first pick going down onto Dave. Now the repush from Chess Club coming in the left side. Tons of damage going down onto LG. Their health is crumbling, but the frags, the frags, wow. all the scout cleanup onto the chess club. Oh my god. Except for Blower, though, onto the medic. Gets a nice rocket around a crate to him, but couldn't finish him off. Had too little health. Yeah, that just went wildly in LG's favor somehow. It looks like they focused so much on Banny. He was on 47 HP, made it out to the lobby, got a blind debt onto Weevil, and then just stayed alive long enough to dish out some extra damage and clean it up. It was really well played by him. Just a better team fight there. I don't think anyone on LG actually died after Dave AC in the very beginning. Just scrambled around, kited the damage. Uh, not enough focus fire out of the chess club in the right positions, and then now they're all the way back to there too. So that's what happens on Snakewater. If you brick a push like that, um, you're going to lose two points, and uh, they definitely did that. So here we go. Ooh, Tyrone gets piped off by Kermit as Shade pops. Could not flash Ty in time, and uh, that might pull... Uh, Pose a problem for this pusher. We do see the bravest scout I've ever seen. That's definitely Sizer. Just shoving the pistol in the face of every blue player on the map. Did quite a bit of damage, but we're going to see the repush here. Um, they don't have Uber. Stoltis is at 70% and counting. We see someone jump up, drop down. Maybe some pressure on the last, so Chess Club's going to have to go back to deal with that. Two did go to LG. Try goes down. Uh, they do have the Uber advantage, but I definitely don't think they're going to repush as they are down three. And it looks like Shade and company are going to take an aggressive hold uh, and try to stuff them into their last year. Oh, hey, you can stop talking. I'm just jump. Here's a suicide trying to get the force <laughs> into Steltus. No dice. Yeah, though. Okay, uh, well, the push to. 
the push did kind of come in on last. Um, maybe Sizer's going to uh, switch off. He's been pre uh, preferring the heavy utility in this situation. We might see him come back as the Russian. Uh, but Chess Club is trying to get it in here. The Uber advantage has evaporated as Shade just collects his at 100%. Banny's doing a great job of effective spam out of his middle area. Tagaron's getting it in on him, though. Really be able to drop him. Done quite a bit of damage to a scout as well. He sees Shade. Will he make Shade drop to the 59th time? No. Shade will get away scot-free and Tag is down. Will that cue the push, DJC? I don't think LG is quite going to get ready as Sizer actually didn't go heavy, by the way. He's back as scout. They really needed to heal up Banning before they could make that push, so they couldn't go in as instantly as they wanted to. Weeble got one shot on Sniper, miss it, and then the, I thought he headshot that scout, but no, Kirby just piped him twice. Whatever, Weeble's back out on scout, they have their uh, Uber popped off, they're defending really well. Sizer's the only death, Davis and Hero are so low though. Better health on Chess Club, but not by much. Dave and Hero doing it cleaned up, so that's three down. Sizer with the respawn coming up heavy, gonna go for the patented heavy defensive second tag, actually overextending a bit into Tyrone and Banny, but it's gonna earn them a Banny frag, so I think he takes that. Weeble is down, though, runs into that rocket by Tyrone. I'm trying to spot out Sizer right now because he is stuck on heavy, and I gotta see where he is. I wonder if he's going for some stealth shit. He's actually coming through the sawmill to meet up with his medic and be the second pocket right now. Yeah, it's going to be, I don't know if they even know the heavy's there, he spun up for a little bit, could hear that from uh, pretty far away, and now they definitely know as he's spamming bullets into them. 450 health, heavy, say hello, uh, on the high ground, that's always fun to deal with, and Chess Club's going to tuck tail and get out of there for now, looking at the uber advantages, Stultus has his, Shade is at 90%, so Shade will definitely get his in time, we do see Weeble, he said, you have a heavy, well I have a sniper rifle. Yeah, and I generally favor the sniper rifle in that instance. I actually have my camera on Weeble just to see where he's going. He's going to pop out, turn back around, and then run up top. Okay, I'm going to go off of Weeble because he's clearly having an episode of some sort. Uber is popped by the chess club as they move into the sawmill. They have a scout and soldier there, but they're not really going to do much with this. Omar is going to give his life. Shade did have to pop there. It was down to 43 HP. He gets a health back now. Tyrone is moving. They have two soldiers and a scout on the lower, and where is Weeble? Now is the time for the sniper to make a play, but he just eats a rocket and sending his force back. Oh, tries to go for the heavy, but they just are so bunched up right now. LG are going to force them out rather. Tag is automatic, though. Another chance for Tag. He popped Shade up with a nice surf for Shade, escape tag, Shade was very, very low, able to grab that health pack there on the second point to stay alive, tag has Shade's number so far this game, as Weeble is firing some close missed shots, Shade peaked him for a moment, definitely don't want to test Weeble, as we've seen he's a, a very, very good uh, sniper, can dome you, uh, even in that reactionary split second shot, but LG now has a chance to push last. Stultus has his Uber ready to go. Shade at 60%, but we're probably not going to see any chess club aggression. Um, they're just kind of hanging out, um, waiting, hopefully, uh, hoping that their sniper gets a pick here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a hero suicide for sniper or something here. Um, possibly some other utility out of LG. Yeah, I honestly just kind of grown to expect that from Hero. Remember, this is 4-1 to one LG right now, so one win ends this map and sends us to the next one. LG just need to, they don't want to push 6v6 with Ubers both up is what they've shown us. Hero will take the body shot down to 1 HP, and he will crater actually off of Kermit's damage. So this will be the Chad Sniper. The Queef shot's going to have to come out here, Sea Bear. Yep, and we're going to see if he possesses those particular shots today or not. Uh, I don't know I don't know if he sniped too much on land. This is definitely Chad's first ESCA land. We will drop a few down other Sniper. Ones. Uh, so we do see Weeble is going to might drop down out of the sniper. He's going to try to get on the second point with the, the bravest, the hero shot. And uh, he's going to get cleaned up there. Misses two. Uh, didn't even find shade out of drop down. So Weeble with an attempt um, while hero is spawning and coming back. Um, he's not going. Actually, we see LG is going to sneak in here. Trying to give hero something to shoot at. Gets a dome on to try. And the Uber is popped by LG. They're going to try to let hero do some work behind. Stalthus has not popped his in defense. Finally does. So a much better Uber coming out here for blue. Uh, can Chess Club repel this push? They get to Tyrone, there's a scout fight on the right, but Weeble able to drop Sizer, so Weeble not coming back as Sniper, looking for Hero, he is still sniping, he's made it all the way back, he's sitting at 14 health though, he's gonna have a chance to take a few shots here, will he get the medic, does Dave go, uh, Kermit on the demo pieces, but Kermit being over buffed, it's gonna be okay, and uh, looks like LG is going to, uh, I'm sorry, Chess Club is gonna retake their second point DJC, Hero has gotten a couple headshots, but the overall the Sniper play hasn't worked out for either side so far.
we will actually accidentally overextend into the rocket if Dave AC will go down here, and then Tag just kind of runs into some stickies of Banny. That's oh, wow. going to be forced back to their last. LG do want to pressure this even more, though. They have a scout in lobby. The cap's going pretty slowly, so both Ubers should be up, and Hero's still going to be on Sniper at the end of this fight. So we're going to get to see one more chance of Hero doing some offensive sniping at the last. As my voice gives away, and I need to drink. Oh, no! Yeah, uh, Hero's going to be able to scope in. He's hitting, sitting on the LG top left on this particular area. He's going to get a couple shots in, but uh, nicer reaction by the chess club. They're going to walk in and spam him out, and uh, Hero's going to try to find another route here, another uh, open opening to snipe out of, um, as he's actually favoring that top left, just circling back to shade for buffs and returning. It's what snipers tend to do here, but he has not gotten a good shot in here. Um, is we're just kind of waiting, Sigma. So, Snake Water last. We've seen a lot of teams uh, struggle to push this, and it looks like LG's favoring to wait for the pick here, as actually Hero is going to get counterpicked by Weeble, out sniping Hero up top left. Yeah, I think Chess Club's going to push off this, but this push is so difficult to do with a uh, one down, and actually they dropped try, Ooh. and that's going to prompt uh, LG's push to come back in. Hero's coming back on scout, so he's going to be in this fight, and a lot of frags going down for LG, so the reverse pick play, get your sniper sniped, and then prompt them to push and then kill them. Tyrone running around like a fool with equalizers, but he's baiting out all the stickies that's gonna let LG get in to clean this up, and I think that is gonna be it. Unless it's sort of a miracle <laughs> player trap, but no. <laughs> Stealthus jumps down with the Uber saw, tries to slam one in, but uh, couldn't get it done. And that is gonna be the first map. LG takes it five to one, trying to stay alive here. They do not want to go home in the fourth place um, position. Chess Club now one map away from that very fate. Can they come back here? I don't know what the second map is going to be yet. And as soon as we know, we will um, let you guys know as well. Uh, I'm not sure how long breaks have been in between maps, as this is my first series casting, so um, I'm not sure. DJC, do we know what the next map is going to be, or how long it's going to be before we see it? Um, well, the format, since you weren't here to hear this, the losing team picks the next map. So Chess Club will pick this, and if Chess Club win, then LG picks the third map. Uh, okay. For the first... Uh, best of three that Chess Club played against Mixup, they picked Granary after their first uh, after their loss in Viaduct. RK, our good friend from ESEA News, says he's on the case trying to find out the next map. He also says it'll be a few minutes before the next one pops up. Okay, cigarette needs to be smoked by a certain Asian soldier on the red side, and that's okay. Uh, so we, I guess, maybe we'll take a break. I'm not exactly sure. No one has told me, but. Um... We will, of course, come back as soon as this next game goes live. We do have some cool graphics on stage. Actually, why don't we take a look at the stats of that match? I, I think we've been doing that. Did we pull those up here on the stream, maybe? We can take a look at who was going hooch. Um, I want to say Tag was, was doing quite a bit. He got shut down towards the end, but man, he had a couple huge plays, Sigma. I'm really impressed with his roaming. Um, be able to keep up pretty well, maybe even out-roaming uh, Dave AC, who's considered one of the best. Yeah, he, and I mean, you have to give him a lot of credit because his team was getting crushed and he was making a lot of plays that, like, kept them in it a lot longer than they would have without him. Whereas Dave, I mean, he has the uh, liberty, I guess, of having his scouts do a lot of work and his combo doing a lot of work as well. So it's easier for him to get kills. But yeah, I'm really impressed with Tag. He got some, what, two key drops out of Shade that saved rounds, at least for, you know, a little while. And some really nice play overall. So yeah, he's definitely playing really well. Yeah, Stats are things. not up yet, so as soon as they are up, we will click over to their DJC. Anything that stuck out, to you, stuck out, stuck out, stuck out to you during that the the game there? Um, it looked like a pretty close match, but <clears throat> overall LG had the better of most situations and just team fought better. Primarily, I was just focused on yelling like a buffoon whenever Tag hit really nice shots or Omar backstabbed someone or whatever. So I wasn't focusing too much on the analysis there. Uh, because I kind of ate food and now I'm sleepy because that's how the body works for some awful reason. But basically, man, I mean, LG were more aggressive than they had been in their match against the Space Whales. I don't know if it was off of the fact that it's Chess Club or just off of the fact that they were like, dude, we should not play like this because we're going to get annihilated if we do. But I'm actually, because I know Sean Mudd was watching. I know Sean Mudd has been here. I want to hear what he has to say because he didn't have to think of words to say the entire time. I think he'll probably come away with a... More mm -hmm. interesting view than I had. What's up, Sean? Yeah, what Sean, did you think what was of that your match? impression of the match? Anything that stuck out to you that maybe we didn't touch on? Uh, Chess Club was able to capitalize on the same thing Wales were in uh, match versus LG. Um, they kind of, they won the mid and they got LG back on their last, and then LG seems a little greedy trying to push out. I don't know if they were they were so patient there for a while, but then they on the fights where they try to push out and take two, they they just don't get cap time, and they just I don't know they just get uh, they, I think they just get overextended there, and they they can't get back to last in time to defend it. 
That's a good point. Um, the Source TV is out for me, so I'm relying on the uh, messages from my friends to tell me what's going on as far as the next game, but I do believe we're going to have a bit of a break. Um, it looks like the stats still aren't up yet. I'm curious to see how big damage numbers and etc., but uh, until ESCA up updates that, I cannot get that information to you. Um... So, DJC, they picked Granary and got destroyed. Do you think they that we're going to see a... Mode. Yeah, uh, well, that was Mix-Up, of course. mix up so, so good. Do you think that they'll pick Granary again, or maybe um, switch it up? I know we probably have no idea. Um, well, Chess Club isn't... Um, we don't know exactly how they play, what maps they're confident on, but I would be surprised if you get 5 0 you just re-pick Granary again. It came up in the uh, Twitch chat earlier. Kozen7 is the one who pointed it out, and I felt really bad after he pointed this out because I actually watched the scrim. But the one scrim, the one map that Chess Club played before coming to land was Granary. Uh, they played it against the Space Whales, and it was a 5 4 Space Whales win, so they're clearly confident in their Granary play. Um, we didn't get to see the mix up match because it's some technical difficulties, so I don't actually know what gave them that confidence or how the mix up match went. But I wouldn't be shocked if we saw it again because, I mean, if they're willing, if that's the one map they've scrimmed, the one map they've worked on, and if they're sitting here looking at, okay, we have to do this or we lose the game, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they picked it. As uh, the four teams go, I don't know if you guys touched on this earlier, but Chess Club definitely, I'm the least practiced of the four, found it pretty hard to get all six of their guys on to scrim. Um, we talked to Tag on Fully Charged, the North American TF2 podcast, and we kind of found out that on Wednesday. Um, so <clears throat> maybe they don't have a lot of maps that they feel in practice with, and uh, if that's the case, then we'll definitely see Granary. Um, how do you think LG plays on Granary? I believe it was, what, Viaduct into Snakewater against, um, against Space Wales? Sir. That okay, so we haven't seen LG's granary. Um, typically, I think Banny doesn't feel as, as confident on that map, but um, I think I think we've seen quite a few pretty awesome games out of LG on granary, so uh, I think they'd feel pretty confident going into that. I mean, after winning that map, it wasn't as easy as they expected it to be, but they still came away with a comfortable 5-1 to one win. I think they're probably going, yeah, we can take them on whatever map. Um, if it's specifically on granary, I think that it's going to come down to how well Dave AC plays as to how confident... LG feel after the first round because it, I'm just thinking back to when Mihai's Flow played Leviathan Gaming on Granary like two seasons ago and Dave mm -hmm. AC would lock the entire corner down and there would just be four people for Flow sitting there like can't we kill this asshole already and get through and it just never happened yeah oh and um, Pierre actually joining us in the stream what's up buddy so Pierre is in the stream so he's live there um, great to see Brad uh, barely broke a sweat versus uh, Chess Club in their first series. Mix up the huge favorites coming into this land, and they have not disappointed so far. Fresh off of their I-46 win over in Europe, um, they look great to uh, repeat and uh, come back here to ESCA Season 12 as champs. Um, we would love to get Pierre onto Mumble, but I don't know if that's um, if that can happen or not. Let's kind of get a uh, a uh, little update of what's going on live at the event from someone who's there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if he's down to clown, we can go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna go AFK right now and get a water because I need I need to not choke to death and pass out during this. Yeah, I would prefer if you lived. Generally, I like you. Um, so yeah, again, guys, I don't know what the uh, the next uh, map is gonna be. I think we'll just throw it to a break here, uh, maybe a, a short break until we figure out what's going on, um, and that way I can start messaging people and don't have to worry about filling time. But uh, the next game will be uh, map two of LG versus Chess Club. LG is up one to nothing in this best of three. The winner goes on to face the loser of Mix-Up versus Space Whales, which will be our next best of three, and the loser goes home or goes to the spectator.